Okay, this is uh, incidental or accidental. Most of the time, if he's on his back and I'm top position, he's bottom. Okay. Side mount position, whatever you want to call it. Okay, from right here. In order for him to bridge, he's got to keep his hip and foot on the floor. Sometimes he'll bring both of his feet off the floor. Okay? And when he's getting ready to bridge, he'll put that foot down. Good. Okay. So as he does that, I weave this underneath and I hook it. As soon as I hook it, I hook his head and I put the feet together. One more time. So from right here, he's blocking the mount. Okay, as soon as that foot hits, okay, I'll be blocking here because I know he's going to bridge, bridge. See? Look, get it all the way to here. Now this hand's got to kick all the way back and put the two together. Okay, number one. Okay, number two is just the same thing, it's just opposite. And what we're going to do now is from right there. Once, what happens a lot of times is let's say I pass his guard. And they come to here and he traps his leg. A lot of people, since since you pass, they think that they're still going to trap you from passing the guard. You've already passed the guard. So all I do is I take his head and I bring it back the opposite way. Okay. So I just bring this here and then I bring his leg. Okay. These are called stupid locks. Okay, one more time. He goes a bridge, a block. This hooks all the way under, and I just go. Okay.